Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the first of hopefully many Poker World Championships. Today, the player will be Popcron, and that's about it that I need to say for you to know that this game is going to be crazy. Sadly, I had to do a redo of this commentary after already uploading it because of a horrible audio desync, which I then worked to oh. fix. The upside is, it's not going to happen again. The downside is, I know who's going to win. Sorry, but I'm going to try to keep this entertaining nonetheless. We'll instead analyze the strategies that Popcron was using to win this game instead of trying to commentate it like it's uh, happening live, because sadly that magic is gone at this point. Sorry, but next time there won't be a desync. I'm going to double, triple check instead of just double check. The double triple check is a six time check. I do it for a lot of my other videos, but uh, I didn't do it with this video, and the one time I don't do it, it fucks up. So, for now, Popcron is using an intimidation technique where he puts in a big number, but it wasn't obviously all of his money. It was about $10,000, which is a pretty safe bet to uh, keep the enemy players from staying in. Usually they go out. However,. There are better times to throw this money out, but obviously, the longer you wait, the less likely the enemies are going to uh, get out of it. And a lot of times, they'll go all in, like Brock just did right now, which can screw you, especially if you do it on the first hand. Which Popcron did, by the way. But this time, it was the second hand. So at this point, Popcron has a lot more money to work with. So it's not so bad. And irony. He will be able to stay in even oh, if he loses Sam. the hand. Think of all the ham so it's not a bad that. decision to do when you definitely have enough money left to stay in the game with a good oh, amount after you're lost to just go all in and then call their all in and see what happens. Go ahead and call. I dare you. Bob Cron, of course, taking the challenge from uh, Brock, not oh, choosing God. to be intimidated by the uh, large scary man that in which he is. There are the first draws. Not Come looking on. too good for Popcron at this point. Uh, he can't beat a, bar a pair of kings with that. He'll need either a pair of aces or a straight. Come on. Come on, and uh, uh, or I mean either a five or an ace next and he wins and he got the ace which made him beat Brock by literally one point. That's literally being thrown out of a tournament for one point. And that's what happened. So Brock gets taken out here. Uh, I don't know if you've ever played this game, but it obviously works like a traditional poker tournament. But uh, if you win with certain prerequisites that are fulfilled, you get something that's called a bounty, which is an in-game item unlock that you get that will then unlock items for both uh, Borderlands 2 and Team Fortress 2. The first game shit? only had Team Fortress 2 unlocks, but this game also has oh, Borderlands 2 like unlocks. There were other features that are not uh, shown in this one, but uh, hopefully we'll get a chance to see them in future episodes. I know I will be uploading a gameplay from my point of view where I will go over my strategies and it'll be called Don't Play Poker with Durox. So, there was a quick fold shown by Popcron there. Always good to get out when you think that uh, your hand isn't strong enough. But... You also oh, don't want to showcase that you have a good hand to your enemies, and obviously raising too much can do that. Or by raising by too much, you can also do that. However, there are times when it's alright. So Popcorn here has a pretty good hand, and it seems that Sam did not. I wonder if those cards are always the same when he does that. I never really thought about it until now. Since it is a uh, pre-rendered action. I think you should know that the Claptrap General Purpose Robot is designed to be completely immune to outrageous bluffing. One of the main draws of this game are, of course, the things that the characters say and how they talk to each other about things because it's I'm funny. Not charming enough to bluff my way out of this one. Uh, it seems that Popcorn's raise has intimidated the enemies out, but they got a little bit more money in the pot, which is good. Now he does not have a good hand at this point. 
an ace and an eight in different in different suits never good i mean you can have a bad hand technically like they're both numbers and you have no high card but if they're both the same suit you can stay in until the until the show the cards and if you get a flush then you start trying to get more money out of the enemies before they realize that they just lost another crummy deal Wendy and I could repair the Oldsmobile with that money. You know, I'm starting to get a little angry at these oh, crummy cards. Looks like another and fold from like Ash here. Bob Cron's actually getting like way luckier with these folds than he is with his hands. But uh, he can only do this for so long. Eventually the computer players will catch on and they'll start going all in and uh, screwing you over. Nine and a six is not a hand I would stay in with. You don't have any blinds in, so there's no reason to stay. See, I would have folded you know, here, but Popcron decides to raise to try to intimidate them out of their blinds. While I understand that $1,800 seems like an okay amount, it's really not doing much damage to the enemy, if you will. You can think of their total money as a health bar, and you're just not taking a lot of damage out of it with You're each of these fold the sprees that, that you get on the first round, and which is probably one of the reasons why Popcron has a hard time winning these tournaments. He'd have an easier time if he tried to time his strikes. And I think that the video that I'll make will show you how to do this, and Popcron can probably learn from it and make much more entertaining decisions in his uh, lines of attack. I mean, outside of the really entertaining initial... Um, Ace on the last uh, pull, and then the down. straight on the last pull, which really was hilarious. It's only a game. I guess I'll call. Which I believe is coming up right now. A lot of people have already seen this video, so I don't feel like oh, I have to yeah. hide any spoilers from you. You've already seen the video. But uh, here's where he's going to pull a straight on the last card. Now, if he didn't pull the straight... Sam would have gotten pretty far ahead with the amount of money that's in the pot right now. I mean, there's $34,000 in there. And he's going to get ahead of you at the end of this if he wins. So it's a really big risk. Fortunately, the queen got pulled, which turned his nothing into a straight. And a pair of jacks isn't going to beat a pair of aces. A pair of kings can't beat a pair of aces. You can at best tie it when it comes to pairs. And he had three of a kind because of that ace that was in the pull. So the only thing that could beat that that he would get would be a flush, a royal flush, a straight, and that's about it. Or he could tie it with a three of a kind of aces. Or a full house. If uh, Popcron got a full house, he would have beaten that uh, three of a kind as well. And those are all very hard to get, which is why they would win. Now, Popcron has a pretty good hand. Not because of the numbers of the cards, but as you can see, they're both hearts. I probably would have raised in your situation, now, in some, for some reason, he continues on the first uh, bet here. He raises it a ridiculous amount to try to intimidate the enemy out, and that's just not a good decision. Because they can come back to bite you in the ass really hard because you haven't seen the first cards yet. And when you're ahead like that, you can afford to play safe. You can afford to opt out. You can take a couple blind hits. It's fine. So... They have similar hands because they both have red cards, but Popcron does have the advantage in this depending on what gets pulled. And unfortunately, no hearts were thrown in the first uh, pull here, which would have given him the opportunity to fold out if uh, he saw that first pull, which was bad. And sadly, Popcron loses bad. this hand pretty hard. He didn't really have much to work with, in spite of the fact that he had uh, two pair and a queen kicker. The king kicker obviously will beat his queen, and he should have known better than to try to go in there all in like that. You should at least wait for the first three cards. It's not only more convincing to the enemy when you do a big raise like that, and they're more likely to fold out, but... Uh, you also get more money yeah, in the pot, so you get a bigger lead, and you make a bigger dent in the enemy. It looks like here he's got a pretty bad hand, in my opinion. They're different suits, and he has a total of six. You know, not a very good hand in Blackjack, and certainly not a good hand in Texas Hold'em. Especially if any royalty cards are in the first pull. Yep, he's gonna call you. Because he's got enough uh, chips to do it. Well, there's a royalty card in the pull. 
That's not good. That's not a good What's start, and he doesn't boss? have any low numbers in the poll either. He really should just fold out. But he's going to call and try to stay in here. And another royalty card. Run, Popcron. There's the bet. Throwing a lot of money in here. Popcron, there's no way you can win. He's trying to raise to intimidate Ash out of the uh, final poll here. And Ash goes all in. In an attempt to uh, reel in the hand versus... Popcron's hand, and I really don't think it would be wise for Popcron to go all in. And he does. Impressive. Hoping to get a last minute ace pull, which just isn't going to happen for him. Yeah. So we've already got a pair for Ash here, and out of all the decks, all the cards in the deck, sorry, Popcron's hoping for an ace, and it just doesn't come out, and he ends up getting eliminated almost because of it. Now he's down to $11,000, which is not Looks much. Like and Ash has a gigantic lead. Not only is this bad for Popcron because he's behind, but it's also bad because the larger the lead is on a computer player, the harder it is to end the game and the longer the game will become. Usually when you get up to $70,000, the game's pretty much yours. It's hard for the enemy to catch up to you. Not to mention you can uh, force all-ins to eliminate the enemy. And the lower their money becomes, the uh, easier it is for you to take the lead. Popcron forgot to put himself on offline before he started playing, so there'll be occasional interruptions. I'm not sure if I even missed any, but I'm sure that there have been some before that I didn't even notice because I wasn't focusing on that part of the screen, but hopefully the next time he records, he will do that. That will make things a little bit less distracting for the viewers. I mean, it doesn't have to be online. This isn't even a multiplayer game. For crying out loud, Popcron, wake up. So an eight and a king. Different suits, but still a good hand. A King Kicker can beat a lot of other cards in the deck. Looks like uh, Popcron's going to do the unwise thing and all in. Oh wait, just kidding. I don't remember the video part for part. It's a pretty long video, as you can see. Go on with your bad self. So he's going to just raise Jeez. to a, a very high thing. amount. He would, I would immediately uh -huh. regret making that raise if Not anyone called it. Around. Is Ash going yeah, to call it? He probably will. It doesn't really cost a lot to call that. <laughs> to be honest, if he wanted to intimidate them out of the hand, he should have all in. This is not a good hand for Popcron. Though he can win if the okay, nothing then. else is pulled. Call. He should have all in early. Yep. Might have even Crap. intimidated Ash out. Now here, he has the advantage because he has the better kicker. But there's a lot of... There it is. There's the winning hand for yeah. Ash. So now he has to hope that a king gets pulled and a king is not pulled. Instead, an eight gets pulled. Cool. And Popcron ends up losing the, the hand because his pair, pair is lower and Ash than Ash's. A pair of nines. Mr. Williams wins the pot. And that's a shame. So... Down goes Popcron. He is eliminated because of his unwise timing. But he does get oh well. one of his bounty requirements, which is oh, nice to get. Right down the drain. I really don't understand why you can't just skip these by pressing enter or something. I, was just, I, I don't understand. I understand the whole idea of where it's like you're here to listen to the characters, blah, blah, blah. But it doesn't make it any less boring to listen to the same things. At the least they could do is not let it loop so much. And I know it's very difficult to do that, even with a random number generator. But I think it's more that they didn't really record enough versus uh, the programming of them not really being good. Uh-oh, there's the all-in from Claptrap. Are we going to see a fold from Ash, or is he going to call it? I wouldn't call it. But there's the call. He got Ash with a bad hand, just a lucky all-in from Claptrap as far as I'm concerned. The pair of eights is going to definitely put him in the lead here. And that's another thing. When you're low and you have a good hand, you all-in. You can take a lot more money away from your uh, enemies if that's the case. So here nothing is pulled to help Ash, but nothing is pulled to stop Claptrap either. If an eight is pulled, Claptrap will probably just end up winning anyway. 
So having two of a kind already in your hand in Texas Hold'em is a very powerful thing. You have a high chance of a full house, and a, Son of a even if nothing is pulled for either of you, you end up winning by default because you have a pair. And Mr. Williams has a pair of kind of like having, I mean, pocket aces is very strong. A three of a kind in aces can only be beaten by a full house, or a flush, or a straight. Like, all very, th all things that are very difficult to get. Four and a five of different suits. Not a good hand for Claptrap. I would probably just fold. I'll throw in a few more Although he does have the higher blind and he should fight for it, and I would normally fight for it. With that hand, I just. <laughs> this scene, I don't really understand what the concept behind it was. I don't know who thought it was funny, but somebody did. Or they probably wouldn't have kept it in the game. Should I do anything? Always a shame when the when the poll doesn't have any doubles or triples of uh, of suits. It's all different suits. Never good. Movies. Hey, what did I miss? See, it would have been funny if like he just like stopped, but instead it had to be oh sex organ. <laughs> no, it's not funny. Okay, that's not funny writing. You're not a funny person. Nah. Nah. And there's the fold. A good time raise by Claptrap here. I hope that Popcorn was taking notes when he was watching uh, the Claptrap play. You'll notice that he wasn't really raising too high. And you don't really have to raise that often to even get a fold out of Ash. Or anyone else in the game for that matter. Two very bad hands from both players at this point. We're gonna have to see who comes out on top because I legitimately don't remember. I know who won the tournament, I think. But uh... I'll check. Mostly it was the early part of the video that I remembered. At this point, I kind of don't remember anything at all. <laughs> so, we'll have to just see what happens. Obviously, Ash, pretty far in the lead here when it comes to, is he going to win? Oh boy, is Claptrap going to all in? Or is he going to all out? Oh, he's going to raise! He's lost a lot of money at this point, but, as you can see, Ash folds, even though he had a very good hand. Sometimes the timing of a raise is all it takes to get someone to come out. And a good bluff is better than a good hand any day of the week, obviously. Both of them do not have same suit hands, however, Claptrap has a very strong hand, an ace and a ten is part of one of the strongest straights in the game. Ash has a pretty weak straight. And Claptrap takes the blinds from Ash. I never really think that that's a great idea, unless like, the enemy has less than half of your, uh, money. Then, you know, you just take the blinds one hand at a time and just keep chipping away at them. Lots of money thrown on the table at this point. Who's going to be coming out on top? It looks like my money is going to be on Ash, who does have a pair, and Claptrap does not. But if Claptrap gets a nine or a king, he will win. But instead, he folds and does not want to keep it to chance. I mean, he could have at least gotten to the next card, but the good news is... Money's pretty even at this point. Oh wait, no it's not. Same suit for Claptrap. It's worth staying in for at least the first three cards if you have the same Michael. suit. I always tell people this I'll when they that. play this game. One of the reasons why you lose a little bit too often is because you give up hands like this. So he's got three diamonds. I don't like his chances. But he let himself get by for free. Now you fold. Now's when you fold. I'll bet. Claptrap. No, don't put any money on the table. Oh. Claptrap fold. Yes. Claptrap. Ash, Though he is an AI, is playing ah, very cleverly. That's one thing that's really nice about this game. In spite of the fact that it can hey guys, be very easy and the, pr and the computer players can really be quite predictable, they AI do play smart. So there is a jack and a two of different suits. Oh, the king and the ace, one of the strongest hands in Texas Hold'em that I can think of off the top of my head. The only hand that could be stronger than his is if they were both on the same suit. There's Ray Bay, who just has to co-star in a popcorn video whenever she gets the opportunity. Jeez. Sadly, nobody will be getting a flush this turn because nobody has two cards of the same... Uh, Suit in their hand. There's the all-in. 
Good timing. There's Whoa. only three cards, so even someone oh. with a good hand can get a little nervous. He can be beaten by a uh, pocket aces. And it looks like Claff Trap's bluff has gotten him a whole lot of chips. I don't think that it's enough for him to be in the lead, though. And the answer is, yes, it is enough for him to be in the lead. He has taken the lead away from Ash, and it can be just that simple. So there's the call, and there's the raise. $12,000 on a 32% chance of winning. And he folds! Of course, there's no way that you would know he only had a 32% chance of winning. But uh, as you can see, Claptrap is timing his all-ins and his big raises so that there's at least a good amount of money thrown in the pot. He wants to at least take 2000 at a time from Ash. And there's the first pull. It's not looking very good for Claptrap. That's two in favor of uh, Ash's clubs. Oh, that's not going to equal a flush for Ash, but... Ash is doing pretty good here. I'll get you. Three, four, five. Claptrap steals the pot. No, nope, there's the Which steal for Claptrap. Once time. again, he gets a whole bunch of money out of Ash. Ash is slowly falling further and further behind. I still don't remember who fucking won. But uh, I guess we'll find out. I call. There's a big raise. 7,000 is not a small amount of money. Uh oh, eight, nine, ten. I check. And Claptrap has a seven. If a jack is thrown on the field, Claptrap has a very yeah. strong straight. Will Claptrap stay in? That's a big amount of money that was just I thrown don't. in the pot. There's the call that could be what ends the game for him. There's an ace on the field now. Time to separate the men from the boys. And there's the all-in, timing it right after a check from Claptrap, hoping to intimidate him out of the hand, hopefully. At least I think that that's the strategy. Will Claptrap fold? Oh no. Claptrap going all-in with the enemy here. And it's not looking good for Claptrap. More co-stars in the commentary at this point in the bottom right. It's hard for me not to notice that. Oh no club at the end there, but Ash winning the hand and getting a huge lead when it comes to money. Claptrap's gonna have to time an all in with a good hand, so I think that Ash wins the tournament based on how much time is left in the video. Though, I mean, I've come back in like three hands, so still could be up in the air, but I, the more I think about it, the more I think that Ash is going to win. What's your story, Juice Box? Claptrap, with the better oh, hand here, he has a better kicker. I mean, I, I was the leader of a glorious rebellion and there's a big raise. He's trying to force the all-in, which is what you can do with that kind of a lead. I do that all Looks the time like when it's 1v1. And there's the all-in. This could be the end of the match at this point. I don't remember if it ends here or not. Mm, doesn't look like it would, though. Me, though it is 64 to 37, I mean. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Suddenly Ash in the lead with that pair of 10s. A pair of 6s won't win that. An ace! That's no fun. Still in favor of Ash if a... Six or a queen comes out. Oh, a three. Can't work with Who's that, bro. Daddy? And down Clap -trap goes Claptrap. And, and we'll get to take a, a look at uh, Popcorn stats real quick at the end of the video. Another pot for which me. I will talk you about, I guess, a little have. bit. Popcorn uh, has a pretty hard time with this game because he's not the luckiest guy in the world. So here's the struggle. outro, Ash is the uh, where they victor. talk about who nice won game, and now, they taunt. Excuse me. Me and, and my girlfriend are gonna roll girlfriend around, naked rolling around naked in money. money. LOL. So funny. There's his stats. Uh, not very impressive, but hopefully with time, he will get better stats. And he will win the, a tournament that he submits to me. Maybe next time.